Hallo, guten Tag und Grüezi. Ich heiße Luzi and you're watching Your German Teacher. Today we're gonna do a little bit something special. We're gonna do a text analysis and a text analyse. This is something which I do already for a couple of years with my students and it turns out this is actually a very good technique or exercise to understand the German grammar better. To understand the sentence, each part of it, why is it accusative, nominative or dative, the prepositions, the phrases, everything. That's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to analyze a text and we're going to take a text which I wrote. It's a diary entry from my life. Ein Tag aus Luzis Leben. Maybe some of it is not true. Maybe you can also tell me in the comments what you think is true or what is not true. This is how it will look in the beginning. That's the complete text. And at the end, once we analyzed everything, it will look like this. So I will give you in each and every sentence, the subject, the verb, the objects, and also the cases. So nominative, accusative, and dative. And I will explain why they, you have to use accusative or dative or nominative. My diary entry is a one level, but it doesn't matter. You can also do this for any kind of text. So either if you're A2 or B1 or higher, you still can do this exercise, which will help you to understand the grammar behind each sentence better. All right, let's go to the first paragraph of my diary. I'm going to put it on your left hand side so you can still see me when we talk about it. And we start with the first sentence. Gestern bin ich um 7 Uhr aufgestanden. Yesterday I got up at 7. So now we always go the same procedure. So we start with the subject. What is the subject here is ich. Ich is the subject. We're going to put it in red because red is the color for nominative case. And as you should know, Nominative is always, always and only for the subject. Good. Gestern bin ich, that's the subject. Now we have this. Now the second thing we look at is the verb. We have here bin aufgestanden. So we, because it's a diary, I use perfect, the perfect, the present perfect tense. So therefore we have an auxiliary verb, which is sein. So we put this in yellow. Gold and also aufgestanden, which is the particip of aufstehen, the past participle of aufstehen. And then we have gestern. Gestern is an adverb. We're not going to go into every each detail. Where there's a lot of adverbs and adjectives, which I'm not going to point out. But then we have a preposition, um. And um requires the accusative case. Therefore, we're going to put this um sieben Uhr in blue. Blue is for accusative. So just to recap, this is going to be for every sentence the same. The subject is in red in nominative case. Then we do the verb, which is in yellow. And then we have probably a accusative here, which is in blue. And also, of course, later on in the text, dative, which is going to be green. All right, next sentence. Zuerst habe ich einen Kaffee getrunken und ein Käsebrot gegessen. Again, what is the subject? The subject is ich. Here a tip. Whenever you see ich, du, er, these are personal pronouns in nominative. So they have to be the subject. It cannot be an object. It has to be the subject. Why? Because it is in nominative case. If you're not sure about certain verbs I use, such as pronoun, what is a pronoun? You will find lots of videos down in the description about exactly those topics. All right, this sentence. Zuerst habe ich einen Kaffee getrunken und ein Käsebrot gegessen. First, I drank a coffee and ate a cheese bread or cheese sandwich. Again, the subject, ich is a nominative, has to be the subject. Then we look at the verb. Zuerst habe ich einen Kaffee getrunken. And then there is a und. Und is a connector. It connects usually two sentences. So we just look at the first sentence here. And here the verbs are, again, because it's imperfect, we have habe und partizip getrunken. 
And then we have einen Kaffee. Einen Kaffee is a noun. So anything which is not the subject, but it's a noun, has to be an object there. Therefore, this is in accusative case. Why? Because trinken requires the accusative. Ich trinke einen Kaffee. And now we have und ein Käsebrot gegessen. Here we don't have a subject. Why? Because actually the subject is the same. Ich is also the same in the first part of the sentence. Therefore, we can drop it in the second part after the und. So ich is the subject still. And then habe, auxiliary verb is also the same. And then here we have another Partizip. Put this in yellow. Gegessen is Partizip von Essen. And then again, a object. A noun, ein Käsebrot. And here also it is in accusative case. Why? Because also Essen, etwas Essen requires a direct object. Direct object is in accusative. Next sentence. Dann war ich mit meinem Hund im Park. Then I was with my dog in the park. Again, what's the subject? You know this already. Ich ist das Subjekt. And then the verb here we have not perfect tense, not perfect, but we have a past tense, simple past. Preteritum auf Deutsch, this is the verb, was, I was, ich war. And now we have mit meinem Hund im Park. And here you see there are actually two prepositions. Mit, which always requires a dative case, and im, which is the con com combination of in, preposition in plus dem, in dem. So here we have two objects, also two cases. Always, always look at the preposition. The preposition gives you the case. Mit plus dative, therefore mit meinem Hund ist ein dativ object. And then we have im Park, im is in dem, also dativ here as well, therefore I put it in green. Next Satz. Das Wetter war schön und die Temperaturen nicht zu hoch. The weather was nice, beautiful, and the temperatures not too high. What is the subject? We again look at the first part until the und. Das Wetter war schön. Here we have just one noun, nothing else. So this has to be the subject. Again, nouns are always capitalized. So das Wetter, das Wetter ist das Subjekt in rot and then war schön war was same word we had before is the verb schön is an adjective und then the connector die temperaturen nicht zu hoch again just one noun die temperaturen nicht zu hoch here are again is the subject die temperaturen nicht zu hoch not too high hoch is an adjective Nächster Satz. Wir sind für eine Stunde gelaufen. Wir sind für eine Stunde gelaufen. We ran jogged for one hour. What is the subject? Again, wir. Again, whenever you see wir, this has to be the subject. And then another sentence in perfect. Sind für eine Stunde gelaufen. Sind ist das Hilfsverb, the auxiliary verb. Gelaufen ist das Partizip von laufen. And then we have für eine Stunde, for one hour. We have preposition für, which is always, always with accusative. Therefore, everything after the preposition, the object, noun, whatever comes, pronoun, after the preposition, this sentence, this sentence part is in accusative. So because here is the preposition is für plus accusative, therefore eine Stunde is also in accusative. So we put this in, not in yellow, in blue. Nächster Satz. Dann war mein Hund müde und wir sind nach Hause gegangen. Then my dog was tired and we went home. And again, we have a und, so we look at the first part. Dann war mein Hund müde. There is no object here. The only thing is this Hund. Mein Hund is nominative, therefore it's a subject. War is das Verb, dann is just an adverb, and then müde is an adjective, and then und wir sind nach Hause gegangen. What is the subject in this sentence? 
Like before, wir ist das Subjekt. Sind gegangen ist das Verb. We went or we have gone home. Gegangen ist das Partizip von gehen. And nach Hause is actually in dative. Why? Because nach. The preposition nach always requires the dative. But nach Hause gehen is nach Hause. Go home is like a fixed term. You can just memorize it like this. Nach Hause gehen heißt to go home. Nächster Satz. Er ist schon ein bisschen alt. Er ist der Hund. That's also a pronoun. Huh? He. So he is the subject. Er ist schon ein bisschen alt. Ist ist das Verb im Präsens, in Present Tense, because he's still alive, right? So therefore he is already a little bit old. Alt ist das Adjektiv. Nächster Satz. Zu Hause habe ich ihm sein Frühstück gegeben. Zu Hause habe ich ihm sein Frühstück gegeben. At home I gave him his breakfast. Now this one is a little bit more complicated. Zu Hause, first thing, is also like a fixed expression like this. Nach Hause. Because of zu, the preposition zu is dative. Therefore this is, whole, is at home. And this is this at home. Zu Hause. Now, the subject, again, is ich. We know this already. Then we have habe, ich habe gegeben. And the verb conjugation comes always, always according to the subject. So, ich habe is the auxiliary verb. Gegeben is das Partizip von geben. Now, geben is one of those verbs which actually can have two objects. And one is in dative, which is usually the person, and the other one is the object in accusative. So here we have a pronoun, ihm, which is a pronoun, it's like a noun, it just stands for a noun, und sein Frühstück, which is a noun. Ihm is the person, is in dative, und sein Frühstück is the object, the direct object in accusative. Zu Hause habe ich ihm sein Frühstück gegeben. I gave him, indirect object, his breakfast is the direct object in accusative. All right, paragraph one is done. Let's go to paragraph two. Um 10 Uhr hatte ich ein Online-Meeting mit meinem Chef. At 10.30, I had a online meeting with my boss. What's the subject? We know this already. Because it's a diary, it's kind of boring. As always, this ich. Not always. Hatte is das Verb im Präteritum, in simple past. And what did I have? I had a online meeting. That's the direct object in accusative. Why accusative? Because haben, like most verbs, require the accusative case. Then we have also um 10 Uhr, which is also a part of the sentence. Again, there is the preposition um, which requires accusative, und 10 Uhr. You don't see here that it's accusative because it's always at for with time. Um is always used with time, so um 10 Uhr, um 12 Uhr. There's no article, so you don't see it actually that it's accusative. And then we have another part, mit meinem Chef. Again, preposition, mit, always plus dative, and then meinem Chef, possessive article plus the noun. So the whole thing here is in dative case because of the preposition mit. Zurzeit mache ich home office. Zurzeit is at the moment, is an adverb, mache ich, ich ist das Subjekt, mache ist das Verb, home office is just a home office, like in English, the same, I do home office, so this would be in, in accusative, again, because also machen plus accusative. Das Meeting war nicht lang. Das Meeting war nicht lang. The meeting was not long. Here, we don't have a person, but we still have a noun. Das Meeting, therefore, this is also the subject. In rot, war ist das Verb. Nicht lang, not long, is an adjective. Wir haben über ein Projekt gesprochen. We talked about a project. Wir, das Subjekt, haben gesprochen. Haben ist das Hilfsverb. Gesprochen ist das Partizip von Sprechen. And then we have another part. Again, a preposition. Über ein Projekt. Über ein Projekt. Und über requires here 
the accusative case, sprechen über etwas plus Akkusativ. Therefore, über ein Projekt ist in Akkusativ. Am Mittag habe ich einen Salat gegessen und dann ein bisschen mit meinem Hund gespielt. A little bit longer sentence. We start again with the easy part. Sub Subject in rot. Then we have here, and that's the first part, first sentence, because here we have this und. Habe gegessen is das Verb. And then what they eat, direct object, gegessen plus Akkusativ, therefore, einen Salat. I ate a salad. And here we have this am Mittag, am, you know this, am is an dem, huh? preposition an plus dativ, therefore, am Mittag ist dativ. And then und, dann, ein bisschen mit meinem Hund gespielt. Subject is the same, like in the first part of the sentence, we can drop it. And then we have the verb. Habe is also the same. We can also drop the auxiliary verb. Aber gespielt, das Partizip, we need. And now we have ein bisschen, a little bit, mit meinem Hund. Again, a preposition, mit, plus a noun. So the whole thing is in dativ. Why? Because of the preposition mit. Am Nachmittag habe ich bis 17 Uhr gearbeitet. Bis 17.30 Uhr gearbeitet. In the afternoon I worked until 5.30. Ich, das Subjekt, habe gearbeitet, das Verb gearbeitet, das Partizip von Arbeiten. Then we have am Nachmittag, same like before, am Mittag, ist in Dativ, an dem. And then we have bis 17.30 Uhr. Bis is a preposition which requires accusative case. Again, you don't see it here because there's no article because it's just the time. But this is in Akkusativ. And then the last sentence here. Um 15 Uhr habe ich eine Pause gemacht und ein Sandwich gegessen. At 3 p.m. I took a break, I made a break and ate a sandwich. Subjekt. Ich habe ist das Hilfsverb, Auxiliary Verb, gemacht ist das Partizip von machen. Then what did I do? Ich habe eine Pause gemacht. Eine Pause ist the direct object in Akkusativ, ja, machen plus Akkusativ. And then again we have time, ja, um 15 Uhr, which is in Akkusativ as well. And then ein Sandwich gegessen, gegessen, Partizip von essen. Und ein Sandwich is the direct object in Akkusativ. Essen plus Akkusativ. And the last part of my diary. Nach der Arbeit habe ich eingekauft. Einkaufen is go shopping. Usually always, or pretty much almost, used for to buy groceries. groceries. Ich kaufe ein. Ich kaufe heute Abend um 7 Uhr ein. Das means I go buy groceries at 7 p.m. Also das Subjekt ist... Ich habe das Hilfsverb eingekauft, das Partizip von einkaufen. Nach der Arbeit, again we have a preposition, nach always plus dativ, therefore der Arbeit is also in dativ. After work I went by groceries. Ich habe Brot, Nudeln, Tomaten und ein Stück Fleisch gekauft. Subjekt, ich habe das Verb gekauft, das Partizip. And what did I buy? Kaufen plus Akkusativ. Everything here, Brot, Nudeln, Tomaten und ein Stück Fleisch, is in Akkusativ case. Why? Because kaufen plus Akkusativ. Here this und doesn't divide two sentences, is actually enumeration. So if you have Brot, Nudeln, Tomaten, bla 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 und always before the last one, and therefore this whole thing is in accusative. Not the und, of course, huh? und is not an accusative, but the rest. Um 19.30 Uhr habe ich mein Abendessen gekocht. Um 19.30 Uhr habe ich, Subjekt, habe Hilfsverb gekocht, Partizip, um 19.30 Uhr, Time, um plus Akkusativ, And what did I cook? Direct object. Mein Abendessen, auch in Akkusativ. Warum? Kochen plus Akkusativ. Again, like 
most verbs which do require, almost all of them require acquisitive case. Meine Freundin hat mit ihren Kolleginnen in einem Restaurant gegessen. Meine Freundin hat mit ihren Kolleginnen in einem Restaurant gegessen. Here we have a new object, subject. Meine Freundin ist das Subjekt. The Hilfsverb, Auxiliary Verb, hat gegessen. And now we have two objects here. We have Kolleginnen and we have Restaurant. And we also have two prepositions, mit und in. Again, everything after the preposition belongs to or requires the same case as the preposition. So, mit ihren Kolleginnen ist dativ. Why? Because of mit. And in einem Restaurant is also dativ because of the local preposition in. Sie ist um 21 Uhr nach Hause gekommen. Sie, Pronoun of meine Freundin, ist das Subjekt. Ist gekommen, ist das Hilfsverb, gekommen, das Partizip. Um 21 Uhr, again, um, wisst, you know this already, plus Akkusativ und nach Hause. We had this before already, nach ist plus Dativ, fixed expression, nach Hause kommen, to come home. Wir haben zusammen einen Film geschaut. Was ist das Subjekt? Wir ist das Subjekt. Haben ist das Hilfsverb. Geschaut ist das Partizip von schauen. We watched the movie together, zusammen. So, wir haben geschaut. Was haben wir geschaut? What did we watch? Direct object. Einen Film. Akkusativ. Why? Because... Verb schauen requires the accusative case. Nach dem Film haben wir das Geschirr abgewaschen. Nach dem Film, after the movie, we did the dishes, we washed the dishes. Subjekt, wir, das Hilfsverb ist haben, abgewaschen ist ein trennbares Verb, abgewaschen ist Partizip von abwaschen. What did we actually wash? Das Geschirr, the dishes, so therefore, direct object, accusative. And here we have this, nach dem Film, nach is a preposition, requires always the dative case, therefore, this whole part here is in dativ. And then, um 23 Uhr sind wir schlafen gegangen. For example, at 11, huh, we went sleeping. Bonus tip! It's actually not a huge bonus tip, but just some important tips I want you to hear again. First, write your own diary. Very useful exercise, very helpful. And when you write your own diary, you don't have to do it every day. Just like maybe two, three times a week, that's already enough. Secondly, make a text analysis, just we, we like we just did before. Determine what is the subject, what is the verb, objects and also the cases and this you can do with your diary entry explain this analysis this will be super helpful if you have classmates for example and you want to analyze a text together and you can explain it why there is accusative why there is dative to another person it doesn't have to be a classmate can be whatever your mom your dog it doesn't matter but this helps enormously if you explain this analysis to somebody else and last point read it out loud also a useful exercise this helps you also with your speaking skills and if you want to know all prepositions for a1 level we just had a lot you can find it in this video here and if you want to know more about sentence structure take molo you heard this probably before then you can watch this video here Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Auf Wiedersehen. Tschüss und bye bye.